In the later stages of glaciation, ice remained only in the valleys, perhaps looking like the morning mist filling this valley. As the glaciers melted away, finer particles that were washed away from sand and gravel deposits were detained by occasional impoundments created by large dams of ice and earth. Because lakes occur at relatively low areas of the landscape, silt and clay deposits tend to also occur in lower areas. However, glacial lakes sometimes extended over areas that were left high and dry once the ice dams finally melted away. So while these fine textured soils tend to be in low parts of the landscape, they may also appear as small hills within the valley. Again, soil survey reports can be a useful guide to where soil types occur on the landscape. Small silt and clay-sized particles usually result in small pore sizes as well, causing these soils to have some of the slowest permeability or percolation rates. Despite being on top of a small hill, slow internal drainage causes a perched water table in this soil. This is indicated by both the mottled subsoils and the limited rooting depth of plants. Both clay and to a lesser extent silt shrink and swell with changes in moisture content. As a result, cracks can develop that are relatively large when compared to the tiny pores between silt and clay particles within the soil matrix. This can sometimes cause widely variable percolation rates at different times of the year. During the dry season, it is important to adequately pre-soak percolation test holes in fine textured soils. Notice how the blue dye has penetrated vertical cracks through the clay layers to depths of two and a half feet. The dye is largely limited to flow paths within the cracks. Even after two hours, the dye is retained largely within macro pores. Very little has penetrated out of the macro pores into the soil matrix. The percolation rate in this soil would be very slow, probably well over one hour. Because clays are plastic when moist, it is difficult not to smear the sides of percolation test holes when excavating. To get accurate percolation rate measurements, it is important to scratch or pick off and remove the smeared soil from the test hole sides to expose the soil structure. This soil has granular structure in the topsoil and angular blocky structure in the upper subsoil.